welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today I'm going to be responding to one of your questions. So here we have from James.Climbs. Would you be able to do a video on the eight step Mohawk sequence, the one in the US figure skating adult silver test? Absolutely. Let's do it. So this sequence, the eight step Mohawk sequence, is in the, the US figure skating skating skills tests, formerly known as moves in the field. It is in the standard track bronze level and the adult track silver level. So it's the same pattern if you're looking for skating skills bronze or adult skating skills silver, this will apply exactly to both of them, all right? We're gonna do this pattern one time through. So you have to practice it to where you can do it one time really, really, really well. We don't get repeats when we take this test. Now in my rink, we have our judges sitting in the hockey bench area and that is gonna be right over there. So I actually am gonna stand where your camera is right now and that's where I have my skaters start this test. So for my students, I don't have them right up against the wall. There is a little semi-circle here and that's where the referees stand in hockey. And I usually have them stand right up against the edge of that little red circle. If your rink has that, it's a helpful cue on where to stand. But I always have them start closer to the judges. So since the judges are right here in the hockey benches, I have them start closer to the judges. Generally speaking, with test patterns, it's a good idea to start your pattern closer to the judges versus starting it really, really far away. But if you have a coach you're working with, you can talk to them about where they would want you to start. For me, we're starting right here on the edge of this referee circle. We're gonna start our pattern with four introductory steps. They're gonna go straight down the red line and they're gonna end when we get to the little dot that says where the center of the rink is. So in rinks that have hockey patterns, there's always a little colored square right smack in the middle where the center of the ice is. If your rink has something else in the middle, you just need to figure out where that center is. So you wanna look at your uh, long axis and your short axis and find that center point. Okay, so we're gonna start with four steps starting on our left. So we're gonna have our nicest forward stroking possible. So we go left, right, left, right. Now those entry, entry steps are optional, but that is what I have my students do. It gives just about the right amount of momentum to start. Now I'm in the very center of the ice and that is where my pattern begins. So if I, you've done four steps, you will be gliding on your right foot, okay, towards your right. And now we're gonna start our left circle first. So this is our counterclockwise circle. I'm right smack in the middle of the rink to start this. All right, we're gonna start with a crossover. So we're gonna go left, to right crossover. My hands are gonna begin to face outside the circle. I'm gonna do a mohawk. Mohawk. So that is our first four steps. So each step counts as one. So it's an eight step sequence being done twice on each circle. So the crossover doesn't count as one step, it counts as two. One step, two steps, mohawk. Three steps four steps. So it's the number of times your foot hits the ice, not the number of movements. So like a crossover isn't one movement, it's two steps, if that makes sense. So we're going to go left outside, that's one, right inside, that's two, face out, left outside, that's one, right outside, that's two. So that's four steps total. So we're on that right outside. We're going to put our feet together as close to parallel as possible. So we've gone, we're right, we're gonna go, this is hard to do from standing still. One, two, three, four. We're gonna put our foot down, that's five. We point our foot to the front, point our left to the front, cross and step in. All right, let me do that moving. It's, I didn't do that very well because I wasn't moving. Right over left, cross over, left outside mohawk. Put your feet together, slide your right in front, slide your left in front, cross your left, and now you're gonna step from your left inside 
to your right forward inside. And that is all eight steps. Let's do that one more time. Cross over, left forward outside mohawk, feet parallel, slide, feet slide, cross left over, mohawk stepping forward. So that half circle that we just did is the full eight step mohawk sequence. But to complete this pattern, we're gonna do it twice on counterclockwise and twice clockwise. So we want to try to make that half circle come around so when we finish the first pattern of eight, we're exactly in line with our center. So for us, we have this big blue pipe that runs down the very center of the ice right up here. And that really helps me teach my students where their center axis is. So I'm gonna to try to do this in a large enough circle that when I step forward on my last step, my eighth step, I'm in line with that blue pipe. Okay, and that means I've done a perfect half circle circumference with my eight step mohawk sequence. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm under that blue pipe, okay? And now we repeat it for a second time. So you step forward on your right forward inside and it's time to just repeat the pattern. We go cross over, outside mohawk, two slide steps right, left, cross that left, step forward, and now I'm right back in my starting position, okay? So now we need to trade and do it on the other side of the ice, but we're already on the foot that we need to be doing our crossover on, so we get one extra step in the middle. Let me do it one time all the way through, and I'll show you that extra step. Crossover, outside mohawk, slip step, slip step, crossover, step forward. Right over, left, left outside mohawk, slip right, slip left, left cross, step forward. Now, to continue onto the other side, we are gonna take one extra step onto our left forward. It's gonna be a nice forward stroking step. Boom, that's all we need, and now we can transition. We're gonna do the same thing going the other way. Now we have a left over right crossover. We're gonna face our torso out and do a right outside mohawk. Our shoulders and hips now need to line up facing forward. We're gonna put our feet together and go slip, slip. Okay, so you're facing out for the mohawk, forward for the slip. You go slip, slip. We're gonna cross our right over and step forward onto the left. So we're gliding forward on our right foot having finished the other circle. We're gonna step onto the left. Then we're going to do a left over right forward crossover, a right forward outside mohawk. Put your feet together and slide that left, slide the right, cross the right, and we're gonna step forward into our left forward inside edge, and that is our second mohawk. So that is the clockwise version of this eight step mohawk sequence. We again are gonna repeat it twice to make a full circle. So we're starting on our right, we're gonna step to the left, cross over mohawk, feet parallel, slide, slide, cross, step forward, right in the middle, we're gonna repeat it, cross over, outside mohawk, slide, slide, cross, step forward. Now we're gonna switch onto our right foot and do a left T-stop. All right, so that is your complete US figure skating eight step mohawk sequence for the adult silver and the standard bronze tests. Let's go through the whole thing all together. But before we do, I really have a few key points that I want you to think about. You want to have every step have the same amount of value, meaning you want them all to be the same length of time on the ice, the same amount of glide, the same amount of speed. So you don't want some of the steps very, very short and others long. So when I am teaching people this, sometimes it's helpful to count like, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that each step holds a full one, two, three. The other thing is we wanna focus on bringing our feet together very nice and tight in between each step. So we don't look like we're big clumsy stompers out there on the ice as we skate. We also wanna be very careful not to be dragging those toe picks on all of the backward sections. This means we can't have our weight forward. We need to be sitting comfortably through the middle of our blades as we do this, which means nice knee bend. So we have timing, we have clean feet, and we have no toe picks, meaning knee bend, throughout the entire pattern. All right, let's do the whole thing all together. Left, right, left, right right, 
crossover face out. Mohawk, nice tight feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extra step. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No toes, nice knees, nice and steady. Step out and T-stop. Alright skaters, I hope you found that US Figure Skating 8-step Mohawk tutorial helpful. If you did, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments in that section down below. If you have requests for me, make sure you drop them below because I really do read all of those comments. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating! and I'll see you next time.